I made 100 players crash land on a survival island all alone to see what would happen. What they don't know is that they aren't alone on this island. Deadly creatures and even abandoned structures all throughout the island. Players are also set to hardcore mode so they only have one life. That means getting some food quickly should be their first priority. Well, we aren't exactly at a luxury restaurant and the survivors spawned in clueless to their surroundings in this desert biome at a cruise ship that's not in the best shape or condition. They venture into the island and search for resources like wood, seeds, and even structures. For the first bit, people are in a grace period. No attacking other players directly and they are mainly to explore before getting into groups that they form. But right as they arrive, there were the brave ones taking to the sea to the second they got onto the island. Since there's two main islands here, what they didn't realize is the waters were shark infested and had no remorse to those falling in. As you can probably tell, surviving is no easy feat. However, I do wonder how many will last during the first day. This survivor got this far swimming away from a shark, but he made it across safely somehow. This isn't the only threat to the island, so watch till the end of the video to see what monstrosities are waiting for these survivors. This is only the start. Poor thing, stranded alone without friends on the other island. Now back on the main island, they just don't learn, do they? And someone goes right into the water. <laughs> Waters are just not safe. Another deadly thing we had that was actually on the island was traps made to trick clueless and hasty survivors. <laughs> No shot, bro. Did they go into here? Oh, they did. They activated the trap. And people got detonated out of this world. Phase 1 is announced, which is a grace period for survivors to make teams, explore for hidden treasures around the island, and prepare for the first mini event, the hunger event, which they have no idea about. Then after comes the build event, which survivors compete build-wise for a loot crate that even carries netherite in it. Don't want to miss out on that. And they began in a civilized manner. Get a get a yeah, okay, maybe not too civilized. Early on, these are the current teams, slowly forming and gathering members, the main ones being Team Black Sun, Team Ballers, Team Mushroom, and Team DJ. One of the survivors said they got lost, so I found him. I gave two pieces of iron for somehow getting lost only minutes into the event. This feels like I'm running a daycare. A survivor stumbled upon a tower far up the mountain, further into the island. Survivors also ended up discovering an existing town deep within, and realized there's a lack of civilians there. They explore the houses, finding remains of other people, leftover food left behind, and a secret they are yet to discover if they look deep enough. Found Crafter, later the leader of the Mushroom team. I gave him spy glasses for his journey. Good luck, buddy. What you looking at? I thought it would be nice to give these survivors a few things. So we found one that stumbled upon a mountain. You are probably gonna die up here. I'm not gonna hold you. With the lack of food. Starving away. So I gave him a fishing rod to fish in frozen water. See? I'm such a nice person. A survivor ended up not only finding, but also taming a horse. Marvin tamed a horse with a saddle? That's impressive, you know. That is really impressive impressive i can't lie riding around the mountains like it was nothing some survivors got blessed up by the structures containing leather armor nice starter gear to be honest deep within the snowy mountains the lack of food was immense a member of team ballers known as eopo found a small snow village located on the other side of the map honestly it would be a nice place to make a little camp i don't think anyone's come out this far that spot has been taken diamonds oh my gosh then someone got diamonds right off of the bat which i was a little suspicious of so i went to go investigate these events are not easy to make so if you guys could hit that subscribe button it'll mean the world to me also if you're interested in joining in on one of these events check out my pinned tweet on my twitter below let's get back to checking out if this player is actually hacking it wouldn't be difficult to x-ray in these events so we had to keep watch over them but it turns out that they found a chest that had diamonds within it quite the lucky find so we gave him some apples for traveling back because the chest with the diamond in it was in the most randomest spot let's hope he doesn't get killed by a seagull or something dumb despite all the exploration that's being done others decided it'd be best to begin mining to stack up for the war that'll happen in phase 3, which the survivors dreaded and kind of knew was coming. War breaking loose in civilization events are a pretty common thing. One of the members of Team Ballers ended up locating a hidden underground library that was filled with traps but also really good loot. They've been fortunate enough to not have been caught in any yet. And just look at his armor. Enchanted iron armor already? Team Ballers is looking like the most powerful nation so far. Not to mention they also seem to have the most accepting group that is willing to take new recruits. Find a little duck strolling around. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Can I give you a... Can I give you... Enjoy that. <laughs> I decided to give them a golden apple. They got so happy that they gave me a fully enchanted, full durability netherite pickaxe. I couldn't even believe my eyes. Thank you for your contribution. 
Yes. Ooh, someone died here. I haven't been paying attention to the deaths. Oh, wow. And the first person on the server managed to die by a shark. I told everyone they were dangerous. Nobody listened. It was actually something I did horribly wrong and I didn't think through. There was a structure in the world, a portal to which a survivor decides to mine the anvils off. But on the second island, there's a little area here, which I don't think anyone has gone to because- Oh, wait a minute. Someone had- Oh, snap. Smart idea. Fobs to you, buddy. He's taking the anvils from the build we made, and he can potentially kill someone with it. Oh my gosh, that is brilliant. Which, by the way, is the perfect tool for killing innocent people that are mining during the grace period, where PvP is not allowed. And that's not where it ended. Things went even more horribly wrong. You see, despite there being a hundred survivors on the stranded island, there was also me that was part of that equation of a hundred players. The information I gave them about the island may or may not have been accurate. I told them there was two islands and that they weren't alone. There were a few people that decided not to trust the likes of me. Because why would they? I haven't done anything for them. And explored beyond the two islands that they were told existed. To their surprise, there was a third island which housed a mansion. The mansion used to be owned by a rich family, but what were they hiding from all the way out here on a separate island? More on that later. The runner-up team, Team Blackson, quickly rising in numbers, and they decided to take this fort as their base of operations. Okay, okay. This is a cool place to like fort out. This is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. They decided to host an election and voted Mello as their crowned leader. Looking pretty good. There's a few people mining in here. Interesting. They sent down a mining team to collect iron and diamonds for the entire team of theirs. Assigned warriors to fight during phase two, which was when murder is allowed, and even a build team for the build competition. Mello made sure Team Black Sun was on their A game. What they also did was pretty smart. They prepared for the hunger event, which they weren't even informed about. So I guess they had a bit of experience with this type of thing. Make a copper. Who's making copper blocks? Who is making? Why are you making copper blocks, buddy? Then this weirdo decides to make a copper block. We decide to interrogate him. Why are you crafting copper blocks? Like what? <laughs> Oh, it was on accident. Remember this weird portal that's located at the top of the mountain on the second island? <laughs> They're so clueless. <laughs> They're so clueless, bro. Survivors decide to go far beyond the first island and trying to figure out what's really going on here. They slowly start realizing that there is more going on here than what meet the eye. Oh, we're here now. What in the world are you doing, buddy? What What are you up to? <laughs> what is the point of this? Okay, so let's go to Eopoke. Let's check out what they got going on here. Clockwolf, Ionicle. Yeah, this is the most random group of people I've seen, bro. Also a group here. Oh, it's Crafters group. The Mushroom. Okay. Nice little area down there. This is where the Black Sun stays, if I'm not mistaken. They are on this stuff, dude. They are making their crops to make sure they survive. They have anvils ready. They they know what's up. You know, they're doing wonders right now. Are you guys seeing it? He, he is, he, you are mining, with, buddy, you are mining with fish. He's just mining, he's just going here. They slowly start realizing that there is more going on here than what me the eye. This is DJ Cult. I'd rank them fourth on the list of powerful nations. What is that team name? What happened to, okay, DJ Daddy. Uh, all right then. That's a, yeah, that, that's a name. I guess we can, we can work with that or something. Ooh, there's a little dungeon down here. Do we give them a hint? Here. Huh? What? We gave them a little bit of a hint, you know? They're they're a small group. Look at them go. <laughs> Look at them. They're so determined. I want to watch them. Okay. They found it. They have discovered it. They ended up discovering a hidden dungeon. There was no trap in there. Just a loot chest. I'm not that mean. After a bit of time, some teams finally decided to settle down on some bases. This is the Black Sun's main base of operations. Ballers decided to build into the side of the mountain as well. They also held an election and voted Eopoke as their leader. Although Team Ballers, being one of the most powerful nations on this stranded island, they had a traitor amongst their kind. This was due to their policy of accepting new members without even background checking if they're trustworthy or not. But in reality, how could they? And the traitor all along is Xander. I found the ballers team. Ah, uh, is that what you're joining? Yep, that is the team see, I'm joining. See. Obviously, they don't know. They don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm, fe I'm feeling a bit mischievous, you feel me? <laughs> so, like... Now, member of Team Ballers. But he isn't just here for fun time and vibes. He had a plan up his sleeve. The start to his plan was simply gain the trust of Team Ballers, gain some loot, and eventually betray them. Wonder if it's gonna work out for him in the long run. Both Team Ballers and Team Black Sun were going head-to-head -head with the most members on their team. The distance between 
the two teams weren't that far off either, but they kept their distance. And as soon as everybody got a little comfortable, we enabled the hunger event. This would basically give players hunger for a few minutes. And surprisingly, by the end of it, we only had one casualty. Remember Team Black Sun? They were prepared for this hunger event with their farms. Despite the current world event, Team Black Sun was still ironing all up. They even got a pet for the trip too. The miners were really putting the work in all things to Mello's leadership. And this is a member of Black Sun struggling to fight a fish. Some survivors dying to the likes of aquatic life here around the island. Sharks are honestly as aggressive as ever. And some survivors still haven't learned. The members of Black Sun also got jumped by some skeleton minions. But no casualties for now. Some of the creatures they have to go against get much crazier later in the video. And you don't want to miss out on it. Some skeleton minions also stumble upon the team Baller's base. That's being made from scratch and attacking one of their members. Which funny enough, only one of their members realized that they were being attacked and ran away from it. And I don't think anyone's noticed. They're getting shot at. But nobody has noticed. <laughs> nobody. Nobody. Maybe they're just not doing damage, you know? Oh, oh, oh. Mellow is on it. Mellow is on it. He's got diamond. Oh, snap. They got on it quick. There was one that went down there, but I guess they took care of it. There's another one over here. Are they going to be taking care of this one? Ooh. <laughs> they're just being shot at. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. There are a ton of people here Despite these minor setbacks their base was slowly growing in size They were attempting to win the build contest depending on who wins at making the best base for their team They will be awarded with a loot crate with one netherite and a bunch of diamonds and so much more They didn't want to miss out on this opportunity I think they were going for more of a little bit of a castle look But it was kind of strange how they decided to build it at the bottom of the mountain but Hey, I'm not one to judge Well, actually I am because I'm gonna be deciding who gets the best base now over over to Team Black Sun to see their progress with their base. We have a kingdom forming at the top of the snowy mountain on the main island, with them putting their build team to good work. Mello, what? Where is everybody? Did everybody move away from the other yeah, base? We're, we're at the top of the big yeah, mountain. Yeah, now. we're all, we're all. Um... Oh, everyone needs to work together to build this PVP starting soon. We need to get these walls. Hey, up. everybody, did, uh, bro, we need, we need enchantment. I'm going. They're, they're doing their stuff. Mello wanted to make sure Team Black Sun was going to be victorious and make the best base in comparison to the other nations and win them that lovely loot crate. So far, just looking at this base being built, Team Black Sun has the best looking base by far, but it is a little bit too soon to say. After that, they started rationing what I like to believe is some armor for some of the members. Who, who needs uh, iron armor? Come here, come here. Me, who need? Okay, I can't, I'm, I'm underground. underground. Oh, oh, hell, okay, okay, that's too many people, that's too many people. Okay, one at a time. Hey, hey King of Sauce for backup. Make a line. Join. Make a line. Okay, okay. Hey, Hello, one, one for you. One for you. Thank you. One, one for you. Thank you. Diamonds. Okay, uh, next, next. Uh, now get, hey, hey, one, hey, one, 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 one at a time. Okay. One for you. Don't uh, make us know. For you, get away, get away. They all got in a line and started giving them items. The organization in this group is really impressive. Right when everything was all nice and dandy, they also spotted four ballers. Everybody, there's like four ballers uh, down the the mountains trying to sneak up on their team while they were focused on their kingdom they quickly went on to the defensive the chaos that is happening within this is, is insane but that is a, that is an amazing base i'm not gonna hold you i'm gonna give them a little bit of time obviously i didn't give them a lot of time so they're still resource collecting still gathering items but soon enough began phase two murder is now enabled people are free to kill each other at their own wills oh how this could go wrong a pigeon is dead pumpkin is dead iron bot's dead oh my gosh avatar orion and cillian ceased gone what is going to be happening trying to survive the what i like to believe what the heck is that alongside this we were also going to enable some of the most dangerous creatures that inhabit the island and it's only the first of its kind this is the skeletal king he summons his minions and knights to attack all those that are near him the second you think it's a fair 1v1 fight he then summons five minions but i also mentioned he does an ungodly amount of damage the skeletal king rises at the baller's team of operations without them even knowing um skeleton king skeleton king Oh no, why is it here? Run, 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 I'm dead. Run. I'm so dead. <laughs> no! Gentlemen, it was a pleasure. They were being attacked left and right. They also got confident and started losing members. One was taken down, then another one, and then he tried taking the loot of his friends, and a third one was down. Despite the Skeletal King seeming like he was stuck, he takes a leap and continues to hunt down the members. They took shelter and hid from the beast until it despawns, or that was initially their plan. Meanwhile, in Team Black Sun, at the top of their lovely mountain kingdom, also had a Skeletal King that snuck in. Right, literally, that is. 
literally in our base. Wait, slime boss, what the? Literally right there. There's, there's the boss is right there. <laughs> oh, oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Guys, box him, box him, box him. Oh, uh, box him, oh, box, box him, box him. Oh, oh. Don't fight him until oh, we're still no longer. Oh, 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 wait, what? No! Oh my god, no! 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 Oh, 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 Oh god, oh Jesus! Everybody get in the mines! Everybody go camp! Oh my god! Oh, oh, just no. Close it, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it! Close it. Ain't no way, oh, shit! Where is the skeleton king? Guys, 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 watch out! Oh, no, that is not this I'm thing. dead. Yeah, what are we supposed ha, ha. to do? I'll crush you. What are we it's supposed to do? It's literally invincible. Yeah. It's untouchable. I just got launched over a wall. <laughs> camp out. Just camp out. Don't move. Camp. Oh, oh no. He can't do it. No, he. But no, poses fell. Poses no. fell. No. I will miss the poses. Guys, 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 poses. Guys, guys. Poses. No. Oh, we are taking the right now. We need to get the fuck of it, man. You got some armor from that. How did you die to him? Don't try and kill it. You will die. Well, how about we just leave the game and wait like four minutes and just jump, join back in? the game, you die. We're not going to. go near the thing. Literally just box up for a few minutes until it's gone. Event's gone, then we'll decide what we're gonna do, but just box up. They start falling out like flies here. Despite these times, Team Black Sun was still at first place regarding their gear and their member count. There was still a third team that fell victim to the Skeleton King, being Team Rucky. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But instead of the other two teams that got confident and tried attacking them, this team actually bailed. What a smart move. Why would you attack something if you don't know how deadly it is? Give y'all one of these. Good luck. The main gist here is, if you decide to leave, you are safe, partially. So be careful. Oh, is he feeling confident? Is he? Oh, okay, okay, smart, smart. Running is the best option in this situation, to be honest. And I spoke too soon. You think you could take him, buddy? You think you could take him, largest fella? Go on, then. Show him who's boss, buddy. Show him who's boss. Largest fella, a member of Team Rocky, decides to slice and dice the Skeleton King. But with his confidence came instant regret. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, as he was launched up into the air by him and met a devastating end. <laughs> he tried his luck and the Skeleton King remains on top. Back to Team Ballers. They were working on creating a wither to annihilate Black Sun. The question is, how would they even get a hold of the wither skulls? Was it a genuine threat or was it just a tactic to scare them? Wait, oh, no. Oh, no, they're jumping someone. I'm no. witnessing someone getting no. jumped. No. no. <laughs> they jumped someone. I mean, <laughs> remember the name. Hey, guys, uh, the ballers are trying to make the uh, the wither. Uh, no, no, no. The ballers are trying to um, uh, kill Melo. Someone within the Black Sun was trying to kill Melo. He had diamond, uh, like, pieces of diamond armor on. I don't know who he was. Team Black Sun even went out of their way to give me chicken to win me over. We yes. need to work on the base, on the fort. We need to work on the fort. Yo, I think I just got Adrian to like us. Nice, how? Uh, I gave him a piece of chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we... yeah. To be fair, it was a kind gesture. Like that was going to save them from the ice golem that they were unknowingly basing over. They also got awarded a loot crate for having the best base amongst the nations. I mean, wasn't it kind of obvious? Meanwhile, Team Ballers was actually up to a little bit more of a chaotic strategy. The team was spread out all throughout the islands. One of their members, Xander, decided to sneak up on Crafter, who was the leader of Team Mushroom, trying to kill him. But he escaped via bow and stared him down. A little bit of tension here. I don't really know what's going on. Enemies to lovers? Meanwhile, at the Ballers' home base, they were also mourning for their lost allies. Due to the fight with the Skeletal King, Ionicle, Springheart, Fount, and Lennox, you poor things. Oh, they will be remembered, I think. The confidence they initially had in themselves gravely decreasing, so the deaths were really rough on them. Moose Mania was revived using demonic rituals. <laughs> Oh my god. Sidrian, not Sidrian. <laughs> Wait, Moose wasn't dead. <laughs> Which was just me because I wanted to revive someone for those spectators that were just watching. He was part of Team Monkeys, which was actually baseless. But despite the setbacks, they kept going, plotting to fight Team Black Sun and lower their numbers. The next boss that spawns is known as the Ice Golem. But I mentioned he wasn't easy to kill either and uses ice magic to freeze people in his way. Let's hope that every team is geared up enough to actually take them on. Xander and Pog, two members of Team Ballers, decide to go on a bit of 
of a suicide mission over to Team Black Sun's base. Their objective with this heist is either to steal, kill, or just overall hinder their team in any way, shape, or form. And that's just simply because they only had 14 ballers alive. Number wise, they aren't looking too hot. At this point too, Phantom started emerging since the remaining survivors did not have any sleep whatsoever. Team Black Sun had 10 members being the biggest team on the islands. But how long will that really last for? While Team Ballers was second upcoming with 4 members and a bunch of other teams with less and less members going down the list. Overall, it's looking like Black Sun may take it home this time around. That's only if they survive the next boss attack. This one for sure is going to be hurting the upper teams. Back at Team Ballers base, there was actually a member of Mushroom named Ghibli that invaded the Ballers land and their lovely farmer It's 4L. With guy. <laughs> Wait, he got his diamond axe ready, bro. Second floor, he's ready second to floor. Are they at our base? Oh, no, oh, they're no, wacky. They're wacky. No. no. <laughs> Wait, what? People Where are these guys? Out hesitation and sliced his head off with only a few swipes. Xander, after hearing that they got in invaded, rushed in to help his ally in need, but it was too late. Ballers, once again, was lowering in numbers. Xander pulls up and attacks Ghibli and gets one final hit on him. <laughs> what is <this> float? <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go faster! This began an alliance that Xander didn't really call out for. Initially, he was going to abandon his team altogether, but in reality, he needed this team to fight against Team Black Sun, and they decided to go into alliance with Team DJ, who's been secretly living underneath the ground, kept away from most of the initial drama, and decided to just merely stack up. Besides the biggest teams, there's also a third nation's base that was found owned by Team Shark. Despite them only having two members, they were actually killing a lot of people left and right. They were more of the hunters of stray offs on teams, and Team with lower members. They were the underdogs of the event and had full diamond gear that was also enchanted. Let me tell you this much, they are not to be taken lightly. They even had a plan to get the next mini event that would grant them netherite, which was a scavenger hunt. Remember the town that was on the main island? No one found it yet, so I made an announcement listing the coordinates, saying that there was a place that people can find netherite here, which piqued a lot of people's interests. This would also attract a huge cluster of different teams all in one area. Who knows what would go down here? Quite a few people arriving, most of them thought it would be either above the houses or just within them, not underground, so I had to give them a second hint, telling them that it was underneath one of the houses. Two members of Team Black Sun came charging in and searched for this loot. Xander from Team Ballers and obviously the team members from Team Shark that I talked about earlier. A tire was also part of Team Monkeys that was also searching around the basements. That's obviously where the hidden loot was stored, which could have been seen if you look really close behind this one chest. And he mined in. He blocked it off so that none of the members of Team Black Sun could actually take it from him and re the benefits of his own. It was a treasury by the town's founding fathers that they left hidden underneath one of the houses. But the question is, where did the civilians go? And why they need to flee the city in the first place? The Black Sun members decided it'll be a good choice to kill a tire for the netherite that was also within the treasury. His downfall was Team Black Sun's priority to advancing and securing a win. Th Wait, try drown him, maybe? Wait, drown him, TNT, anything. Yeah. 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 Hey, he's money out, he's money out, he's money out, he's money out. Let him get out, let him get out. Where yeah, you go? Kill him, kill him. Boys, let's go. Mr. Mello, where do we go? This is where things got a little weird. The second he left the area facing Team Black Sun, he wasn't able to take any damage, which was really strange. Multiple people tried swinging their swords at him, but he just didn't take damage. Then began the suspicions of him hacking. Survivors before were a little suspicious of him hacking in the first place, potentially x-raying early on. Hey, hell, hell, hell. Wait, what? What? Oh, I, can't, I, I can't kill, kill him. him. What? I got to kill him. What? Dude, there's so many of them. And if this is true, it didn't make sense as to how easily he found the location and instantly found what the other survivors failed to find, the actual treasury. Something didn't seem right, and this was the last bit of information that it really took. All members of each team were running around trying to kill a tire. And then he was reincarnated into a world where if you die in the game, you die in real life. Helping bro. Yes, take the loot. I'm joking. He was killed for hacking. And whoever picked up the loot, which I believe was either Team Black Sun or Team Sharks, reaped the benefits. The members of Black Sun then returned home after reaping their rewards. They also got met with a casualty. You see, right under the snowy mountain that they chose to call home, there was an ice cavern that was home to the mob known as the Ice Golem. The model, unfortunately, was a little bug, sadly, but still had the same abilities and danger that the actual Ice Golem had. One of the members of Team Black Sun decided to go down there, down the ladder, and they discovered that they were 
were not safe. But not only this, a second ice golem spawned that attacked near the land, and they realized despite everything they had, the manpower and items to slay the ice golem under the leadership of Mello. The ice golem shot icicle arrows at them, started freezing them. Oh, oh no. that's a boss down there. I'm not going down there. There's an ice golem down there. Wait, he's how going on? Go up, 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 go Oh, There's Jesus another ice golem! Ah! Where? Wait, I said to uh, Outside! Oh, God! Oh, What's no. going on? Oh. Okay, nobody stand on the edge of the base. Nobody go near the edge of the base or you will die. If you go near the edge of the base, you will get launched off. Okay, it's this thing. Let's kill it. Let's kill it. Let's kill it. Okay, everybody, stay, in, no, stay inside the wall so you don't get launched off. Don't get too confident. Stay on this side of it. So if it launches you, you're safe. Fortune kills, um, Fortune kills Mellow. Fortune killed Mellow. Huh? And they even froze me. Like, what? Lo and behold, they killed off both of the ice golems. After a long and grueling back and forth fight, they then realized something had gone horribly wrong. A member of Team Ballers went and infiltrated and assassinated their leader, Mello of Team Black Sun. Wait, okay. Did Mello die? Hey, did Mello, Mello die? Died. No! No! Wait, no! how did Mello die? What? Wait, I, wait, 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 and kept everything organized was slain. The reason being that they were too powerful and were a direct threat to Team Ballers. This instantly made Team Ballers the most powerful nation on this island. The advantage that Team Black Sun had was all thanks to Mello's leadership and organization. He was now out of the picture. Things were looking very bleak for their nation. They decided to have a re-election at their meeting hall, but they didn't end up wanting a team leader. They instead wanted to work together to defend their republic. They put aside their differences and biases and fought for the sake of everyone that they have lost. It's honestly an honorable cause. A couple of the smaller groups such as Team Iron, Team Mushrooms, Team Imperium, and a few others decided to make a side alliance since they saw Team Ballers and Team Black Sun rising in power. Not to mention with the demise of Mello, they also saw a spot opening for the number one position. They went for the mining strat. Two skeletal knights spawned near them but they embarrassingly spawned into the walls and suffocated most of the time. Back up on the main island, there was also a mine shaft that got buried within the mountain and two team members of Team Shark managed to discover it. Along Alongside this, a giant sludge was covering their trucks outside, but they snuck underneath it and booked it after seeing what the skeletal king had done for the upper nations. Then a member of DJ Cult decided to fall out of the world. Like, how do you even manage something like that? That confuse me sometimes. Let's have a vote. Hey, 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 give me that, give me, give me the sword, give me the sword. Do you want to focus war right now, or do we want and get enchant that? Enchant, enchant, enchant. Okay. Enchant. Is everyone, what, what's everyone saying? Enchant? Enchant. 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 Okay, enchant. Oh, this, this is a W right here. Enough. Team Black Sun was also dealt with the angry sludge, but they murked him pretty fast. Then I get bribed with them by gifts and diamonds. There wasn't really much I can do, but they were plotting to begin the purging of all members on the island that weren't part of Team Black Sun. As a reward, I also decide to give them some cakes as a nice little gesture, nothing game breaking. Taking a look into another team with a decent amount of members was DJ Cult. That's definitely what it's called. Don't question why it says the word daddy on screen. I didn't pick it, it's all them. They were basically trying to make an offer that sacrifices one of their teammates so that Xander could be revived. But I said no. They had a pretty nice base too. Very cozy if I do say so myself. There was also graves to those that have fallen during the event. Rest in peace pumpkins. The underdogs, Team Sharks, decide to attack the Black Sun head on in their own base. Now to be fair, they did have netherite gear, while most of Team Black Sun's member had iron and diamond. Despite his efforts and gear, the strategy wasn't the best thought out. He quickly got outnumbered by Black Sun's sheer forces, but did manage to kill some of their members. This time around, it was looking very bleak for Team Black Sun. At this point, there were a lot of dead survivors, so he decided to host another revival ceremony. But this one, people had to actually earn. See the portal that was found at the top of the snowy mountain on Island 2? This was actually here for a reason. I wanted to be able to revive two survivors back into the challenge. So I gave the coordinates out and said the first living person that gets to these coordinates can revive someone that has passed away. After releasing that information, I began lavifying the surrounding area, making it that much more difficult to get to. Lo and behold, DJ is the winner, and it led to the first revive. And they chose to revive Xander, a member of Team Ballers which has previously been killed. Then I thought of a new plan. What if for the second revive there was actually a bit of risk to it? So I decided to rig it 
it with a TNT trap. An unsuspecting survivor will end up here or a team and meet their very end. As long as they can get past the TNT trap without dying, they'll be able to revive anyone of their choosing. So I wanted to give them a bit of risk. And another member of DJ Cult finally arrived, confused about their surroundings since it changed a little bit, and decided to step over the tripwire without even realizing what they have done. Two members of Team DJ blows up into ashes and Xander falls from the TNT from a high place. Since all of those members died, I decided to re-rig the trap for the next person, which was DJ Girl. And they chose to revive Xander once again. Both revives were dedicated to one person in Team Ballers. Now mind you, just one member of Team Ballers doesn't seem like a lot, but don't forget, Team Ballers and Team DJ are also grouped up together, versing Team Black Sun at the very end. While all this was going on, Team Black Sun was on a murdering spree, eliminating every member that they can find. It was down to two teams besides them, which was Team Mooshroom and Team Ballers in alliance with DJ Cult. Unfortunately, Team Mooshroom was then annihilated. This is where the final fight began. It was Xander and DJ Girl, which we can just call them Team Ballers versus Team Black Sun. Now, although they don't have much gear on them, they ended up finding a glitch in the team system we were using, which gave them such a huge advantage. So you see, since the beginning of this Minecraft Civilization event, there was a set home feature for the team. What Team Ballers realized was that if one of their teammates in spectator mode set their home someplace else, the two living members of Team Ballers would be able to do slash home their way onto a spot, which made it seem like they were being helped out by me, but in reality were just doing it all themselves. This also brought Team Black Sun into confusion and got Team Black Sun spectators to be the eyes and ears of the operation to killing off Team Ballers once and for all. Team Ballers quickly got a plan. They wanted to teleport to a spot that had heavy amounts of lava so that Team Black Sun would burn to their demise. It was working so far, and they struggled to actually get to Team Ballers. Unfortunately, in all the chaos, DJ Girl was then slain. The only person left was Xander, part of Team Ballers. But one of the teams made a fatal mistake. This was a spectator that died earlier in the event for Team Ballers, who decided to set their home right above Bedrock, making them near impossible to find out while they play their attacks. But what ended up happening was that Xander ended up falling out of the world, phasing through the Bedrock, and the victory goes to Team Black Sun. Members of Team Black Sun ended up repairing the cruise ship and sailing off into the sea after a couple months in, finally escaping the grasps of the island. If you made it this far, you might as well subscribe.